Hi, it's Chrissy, and today I wanted to talk about diagnosis pronouns. So when I was first diagnosed with cancer, I decided to call cancer cornflakes. That's what I called it. I don't know exactly why I called it cornflakes. I just know I didn't want to say the word cancer. And I felt like if I named it something that sounded silly, I could better approach dealing with the diagnosis and the treatment. It was just my way of making light of a very heavy situation. So what's so crazy about it is I was calling it cornflakes so much that my oncologist and people on my medical team started to call it cornflakes too. So it became this cute little inside joke that I would go into my appointments and my doctor wouldn't say the word cancer. He would say the word cornflakes instead. There was one time that he called it Skittles, but I just preferred cornflakes. My, all my family, friends, everyone knows that I call cancer cornflakes. It's only, I call cancer cornflakes for the first two years of my diagnosis. It's only recently that I've really started saying the word cancer because cancer is such a weighty word. It has a lot of emotions wrapped up in it. And I just felt like it was just too much. It was just too much to deal with and too much to handle. So that was my diagnosis pronoun. Now I do know other people that name their diagnosis as well. I have come across people who may give it a name, like a first name, like Tim or Sally or something like that or something silly or an object and I find that everybody kind of has the same viewpoint it's just a way to help to navigate what you're going through next time you're dealing with something that seems like it's too much consider giving it a name something silly just so that you can face it and overcome it as best as you can even though I do identify cancer as cancer now I still get a smile on my face every time I think about calling cancer cornflakes. It's just something silly, but it was very effective in helping me deal with the diagnosis. And if you're going through something like that, it may help you face something in your life that you may not be able to face. Try naming it something else. See if it works for you. So this is what I call diagnosis pronouns. And let me know in the comments if you have a diagnosis pronoun for something or just anything that you name something other than what it is. I find it to be really funny and there's power in sharing stories. So let me know and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to know the story about how I was diagnosed, I'll link that video to this one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.